So, as I promised in my last video, I would actually make a Bible study um, and, and talk about which Bible verses um, I'm using about like what to do when someone wrongs you. So this is the continuation to that, although the first one I didn't label as a Bible study. But the first point I made was realize your position in Christ. Uh, realize who you are in Christ. Um, I was going to add something to that, but I'm not remembering what it is. If it comes to my mind, I'll say something uh, about that, but I'm not remembering what I was thinking a minute, a couple minutes ago when I was in my bedroom. Um, but I'm going to start with Titus, um, chapter 1, um, and verse 2. So... Uh, in the King James, in hope of eternal life, which God that cannot lie promised before the world began. Now, God cannot lie. If you have someone in your life um, that is lying to you, realize that that's not from God's spirit, because God cannot lie. And realize that that's an immature heart, um, anyone that would lie to you. So that's something to recognize. So. Point one is realize who you are in Christ. Point two was see where that pers person's position is that's doing you wrong. What what are they specifically doing? It could be lying, it could be cheating, it could be stealing, it could be a number of things. It could be physical abuse, it could be psychological abuse. Um, put the right label on it with, with God and it may take some time and it may take prayer. It may take a while to figure it out. I didn't I didn't realize my mother was an alcoholic until like a while. I mean, like the signs were obvious. There was a lot of, um, I had to pull out like so much beer and wine in the fridge to get to the milk. I'm like, why, why is she stocking up on it? And then she'd start throwing up through the week. And I'm like, oh gosh, I think, I think she's an alcoholic. It just, something I said to a friend today that, um, has a hard time believing um, that somebody that I would have liked to have, have loved me, uh, she said, I hate you. God can love you, but I can hate you. And I, you know, I specifically said all, a lot of wrongs this person did about me and this, this man, Matt, he doesn't, he has a hard time believing it. And I said to him, you know, like, we all, <laughs> we all want to think the best of, of people and it's natural to want to think the best of someone especially if you know you grew up with this person or whatever but you'll think the best of someone until they prove you wrong and so when somebody does do something wrong to you you have to label you know do they have malice if they have malice get away and so the lady I'm talking about you know if somebody's gonna say you know God can love you but I can hate you they have malice toward you so that's somebody to label you know you know, not safe, you know, they might put poison in your food. If you need to label that, you know, label it. Okay. Um, but if they're lying to you, um, and there's somebody that's, you know, that you're around and, um, you know, you, you confront it if, if, if need be, if you have other friends in your life and you're not, you know, around this person a lot, God, God, I will say this, Know that God will deal with people. If it's a Christian, if it's somebody that's saved, God will deal with people. And sometimes it's best to just let God deal with that person. Um, sometimes it's good to confront it. But if, if that person is physically violent with you, it's best to let God deal with it. Okay? Let God deal with immaturity. And he will. He will convict people that are saved. And, and he will bring out truth. Um, so, another verse um, that I will go over is in First Corinthians. And, oh, okay, so this is something to realize that will eventually happen in the heavenly places and Paul and Christ and anybody that's mature in Christ would want it to happen today, but it doesn't always happen today, okay? Um, but 1 Corinthians 1, 10. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing, 
and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Well, if somebody's lying to you and they're trying to convince you something that's not true, you'll know. You'll be like, this is not, this doesn't feel right, you know. I mean, a lot of life doesn't feel right because we're not in heaven yet, right? It just doesn't. There's suffering and whatever. But, you know, if you can't have the same judgment with someone, something's off. So realize that in the end, we'll all have the same mind and the same judgment, okay? And if you can't have the same mind and the same judgment with someone, you need to pray about why, okay? Put a proper label on things. And then what is safe for you to proceed with, with that person that's not, you know, having the same mind with you. So then, um, and if my phone dies, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll come back to the study. <laughs> so then go with me to, yeah, we'll go to Ephesians. I'll end it with this and then I'll continue one more verse, um, tomorrow. Um... So, where was I? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> Ephesians chapter 4, verse 15. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. So, we can all speak the truth, okay? But sometimes we can speak the truth in arrogance. And there's a difference between speaking the truth in love and speaking the truth from a wrong place. And so if somebody is hurting you by saying things, whether they're true or not so true or whatever, if they're saying things in a mean way to you, um, realize that that's not from God. That's not, that's not acceptable. It's not acceptable to make a saint feel small, you know, it's not acceptable to try to tear down somebody's position in Christ. And that's why I said, number one, realize your position and your authority in Christ. And so the next video will be, um, well, I guess I'll go over your authority in Christ because I went over your position, but I didn't really go over learning your authority in Christ. So I'll do that one next time, and I'll start with a verse that I have tabbed here. Um, you know, in saying that, I have a lot of things that I could use prayer for. A lot of things were um, said hurtfully to me, um, and I could use healing from. Um, I mentioned in one of my videos that I was cheated on, and... One of the things that Logan said to me was, you know, um, and it wasn't speaking the truth in love. It was just blurting out, you know, whatever came out. It was like, hey, you know, I, I did that because I hated you and I hated God. <laughs> like, okay, so, like, I'm, you know, and he said it as like a relief. Like, I'm relieved to tell you that. I watched porn and I, I so much hated you and God and I'm like, I'm supposed to side with this? Like, it's it's psychological abuse. You shouldn't ever, like, try to figure out why someone hated you. Like, that's, it's disturbing. So, that's something I could use prayer over. 